Welcome back. Just absolutely obliterate using this type of particular lineup paired up with Grimstroke. This is going to be a pretty crazy game. Very useful. He's got to be careful. Oh, he wants so to kill. aggressive. He's Look at this. Yeah, he definitely wants the Avalanche. Needs a little bit more, though. He's taking tower Enough shots mana. now, so. He's like 15 mana short. Oh, okay. All right. There's our first blood. They went pretty far for that, actually, on the side of these guys. TP over here coming out from Gojira. He's got the lift. They're going to punish Carl for being just a little too far forward here, so. Chris Mal in the mid lane. He is indeed. A toss back here underneath the tower. They've got the dust. He is... Oh, oh the good to crapify, though. Coming out from Stinger. We'll be able to keep him alive just a Give little bit Give the man longer. a rune, please. There it is. There's that arcane rune that he was hoping for. Going to pop it immediately. Turn back around. Can they get the one. kill over onto Carl? They have to be careful, though. There's a lot of people. There's Chris No, he's going to fall. Let's go, Jared. TP's in. He's just a little bit too light. One leap charge left over onto Zephyr. I don't think they're going to be able to get the hands on them. Though they turn back around, they have the Inkswell Stinger. Needs to be careful here because they have an arrow. They have enough damage. And they'll punish him heavily. I can hear a rupture, though, over here on the side as they do manage to find Carl. But they need something to cancel out the TP. No, they have just enough in the nick of time. Campbell. No. A lot Game of rotation, top. though, Top, with the arena getting dropped over onto Gabby. They know he's alone. They know that he doesn't have anybody nearby to help him, so they're looking for the kill. Go throw a decrepify out, a couple more hits, and this should be a dead Gabby. Eventually. They really are making him work for it. That feels good. This is not bad for Beast Coast at all. If they can defend their mid tower. Gojira, though. Arrow landing right on the tail end of it. The follow up with a nice nether blast, but uh, it's not looking good for Gojira as. Ooh, the Mirana just leaps to her death while wow, she's ruptured. White Mob next to fall. They need to have some sort of a stun to take out. And Carl, they need more damage, and they don't have it. Cool get damage. a steal, get the Star Storm from, uh, from the Mirana for Gojira. That's not too bad. They're looking to make a play. Go in. They've got themselves plenty of vision. This Moonlight Shadow not going to be enough as Cuckoo just takes too much damage. He'll fall to Whisper, and they're on the chase, too. They would like to grab Carl, like to grab White Mon. He's got that little piggy pole there trying to move a little bit faster. Carl would be a great one if they could steal it. And they have the avalanche, so they'll be able to get themselves a kill. And they just might hear with the smoke. It's going to change everything. Smoke's breaking. Yep. Okay, they go. They find Whisper immediately. They go through the Moonlight Shadow. The lift up, though. Big Melt Strike coming out from Seasma. Whisper taking a lot of damage. He is going to fall here. Another toss back and another Steel Sea Avalanche coming out from Gojira. We'll stun up three of them. Look at that damage. Again, Life Drain doing a bit. Gabby dragging back over onto Gojira. Cuckoo blinking forward. They should be able to get the kill over onto the Rubik. But there comes the rupture. Everybody's sitting really low. They'll get the kill on Gabby. They'll get themselves Cuckoo. And they're looking for whoever else they can grab. Aren't going to be able to quite grab White Mon Zephyr hiding over in this corner, hoping that they don't see him. And they don't see him just yet. But that courier coming over, they'll be able to see him now. But they're not too interested. Fights in the right places and then we can get gold advantage with our greedy lineup okay nice blink forward here coming out from carl toss up into the air with the silence oh, phantoms so embrace but they get a steal off here turn back around throw out that stroke of fate but the follow up here from cuckoo will ensure that they get the kill soulbind will come out over onto gojira and k1 but they did a rupture over onto cuckoo almost have enough damage to take out carl but they have a stun so he's going to be able to bottle up walk away but if it was there I mean, they, he still might die. They even go for the Moonlight Shadow. They're like, oh, no, we got to get this guy. We got to get him. And it looks like they should be able to. So much damage, dude. Carl getting things done all right. A lot of bursts with Inkswell. A little fighting mid, though. A little fighting mid, indeed, as they find Kuka. Carl, oh, Carl, now he's in the arena. He's alone. He just can't seem to get out. He just keeps walking into the walls. He is dead. Carl, I think it's going to be too late. It's getting close now. They might be able to contest. They're trying. They're going in. Another arrow getting tossed out. We'll connect over onto Roche. Gabby with the BKB goes in, but it's still going to be Chris Miles who picks it up. See Smiles, though. They're tethered together. They can't break away. Whisper and this TA. It's like at the last second. No, that is going to be the H popping Whisper also to fall. Get the TA back up again. Get a little bit of a steal. He's going to turn back around with the Phantasm. Goes back in. Oh, my God. Gojira, he just absolutely pops here. So they try to get off as much damage He's as low. possible. The toss back. Oh, they get the kill over onto Ector and over on the back lines. Oh, my God. Beast Coast gets wiped by T1. Sentries. Yeah, that's why they didn't go high ground. He didn't have a sentry, so if he goes in first. Okay, well, they're still going to jump in here. Cuckoo dropping follow up with a nice air with the save. Thrown over here. Buy a bit more time. Oh, God. They just find Gojira over on the side now. It's like Beast Coast. Backing off a little bit, Gabby, considering going in. They're regrouping. Yeah, Cuckoo seeing Whisper again. Decrepify coming into play with the toss-up into the air. 
The follow-up whisper will fall over the back lines. Cuckoo taking so much damage, he's just gonna fall apart. Now you do have that Soulbind coming into play with c Smile with K1. They'll turn their attention over onto Gabby. Blood right over onto ground. They've got a lot of negative armor. That damage coming out from c Smile. Can they get enough up in time? Yes, they'll be able to find it. Now Carl chasing after c Smile. White Mon trying to teleport away. He's not going to be able to do it either. As Zephyr leaping out. Carl just barely making it. He's got good net worth in the meantime, though. Cuckoo not afraid to hit creeps. Right, oh. Gonna go right, and again, there's that BKB like we talked about. Nice soul bind over into the middle of all of this damage. Whisper is gonna be the first one to fall. See smile now, he's oh gonna get tossed into God. the air. It's just a fast hit and run. They see Stinger over here. They're gonna turn their attention. Should be able to take down this little Pugna, no problem. They didn't check his items. He gets the BKB, but they initiate on him. All I can give us and here comes the fight. Blink forward again, Cuckoo going in. All right, Whisper though does get safe this time around. They do get the soul by now, and they'll get a nice arena. So they do get the multiple stuns off. They're gonna back off, so they end up being able to take down White Mon. Whisper just barely gonna be able to run away. Look at that damage They're coming all out. Live there still. it is. They'll be able to take down Zephyr. They take down Carl. They turn their attention over onto Cuckoo. Is over onto the back lines. They're chasing after Gabby. Gabby. He's not taking too much damage. He will end up falling. Is now Cuckoo. He is the last man standing. He's gonna blink up over to the top area. They have the blink on T Small, but they just don't managed to go and grab him in time. Four dead on the side of T1. This opens the doors for Roshan. Chris leading the charge. Big Melt Strike. All right, he's fine with them being attacked. Absolutely fine with this right now. The Aegis will go down. Whisper trying to get his position now. Manages to go and grab themselves. Cuckoo has that BKP. Chris making his way back over to the other side because he can see Gabby trying to fight here with K1, but they have the link as they have the life drain to try to keep him alive. So he's going to be able to teleport away. What's going on here, Wispy? Hit the back line. Wispy's gone all the way into the base here. All right, you may have gone a little bit too far here, Fred. Yeah. He messed up. Brought the gem to the back line. Here we go. We've got the Aegis online. Arrow will connect over onto Sea Smile. Not too concerned. There's going to be a rupture. And, uh, cool. Oh, suffer. The little bunny hop there, taking a lot of the light. The big melt strike coming out with the soul bind stolen from the room. I think it's the kill over onto Zephyr. So turn back around, another soul bind coming into play, but Whisper drops the arena, separating everybody here. They'll get the kill onto Stinger. They had a buyback now coming out from the Marana. Up comes Chris Smiles again. He's gonna need a little bit of help here as Gabby getting over to the corner. They don't have anything to really cancel out. There. Yeah, he's gonna be able to make it out safe and sound. Whisper though, not looking like he's gonna be quite as lucky as Gojira also falls, so. Perhaps a little over eager here because this tower definitely still standing, and that's another gem. Yeah. Although he's got no ruptures now. That part's kind of weird. Stinger, they have the arrow, they know exactly where he is, so they'll end up losing the Pugna. No buyback. That was weird. No buyback. Good stolen avalanche, though, slows him down just a little bit. We'll clear up. Lots of things to steal right now for Rubik, at least. Yeah, that, that's true. Watch out for that Rubik Phantasm. <laughs> Do see Cuckoo, I think. Carl. Okay, there it is. There's an opening right into the arena. Big rupture. That's enough to take out Carl. Gabby over the back line. So is fighting with Stinger. K1 and C Smile immediately recognizing this. We'll turn back around to get the kill on Gabby as the arena gets dropped here from Whisper. They're going to try to go and grab. Oh, Zephyr, though. He's going to run into that the arrow. And it oh. does. Oh, my goodness. Great Three force. Fight. Dead on the side of T1. This is going to be a, a tower and two racks, it looks like. Look at the damage. My God. It is actually incredibly fast. Are they just gonna end this and force bio? No, 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 no. Carl already in position. Jira. Trying to get into nice thing. Alright, there's an immediate find over on the boat of the two. supports. Very nicely done. Double kill. I see Smiles though going forward. They're gonna buy back. And there's the soul by Carl's just taking too much damage. He will indeed fall. Whisper with a beautiful arena over here. Is going to try. Oh, look at Cuckoo. He's just absolutely melting the sports over on the back lines as well. Will also fall. Cuckoo goes down. All of these arenas. Look at the buybacks coming out in mass. They finally get to jump back over here on the ground. Oh, my word. What a grab from Tiny, but Whisper's combos are just it's beautiful. shredding the back line every single time. Just puts... Grimstroke in the arena and says, you're dead now. I'm cleaning you up. And Chris Smiles just right-clicking the whole fight, too. That's Megas. That is indeed Megas, and they're looking for more. Spear will connect over onto Gabby. Question is, do they want to go super hard? Because they do have the Aegis to lift up over onto Carl. See, Smile, though, is taking so much damage. All right, that's going to be the Aegis. Soulbind will connect over onto Whisper and Gojira. 
follow up with a Chaos Bolt. They need a little bit more damage over onto Gabby. The toss up into the air, the Melt Strike. They're turning back around. Gabby, he's just getting smacked in the teeth. This is not looking good here for T1. They tried to toss him back, tried to keep him alive, but the Melt Strike follows him, and they'll get the kill. Following right up now, Carl with a nice avalanche. They're going to go right back in. They bought back. They can get the kill on the TA. That's going to be a big deal for them if they're able to do it, as Whisper is forced to teleport away. They have not. Cuckoo pops his ultimate, slow things down a bit. Whisper crawling over. Okay, there's an opening here over onto Whisper to get the soul by the go immediately with the refresh. Whisper is going to have to buy back. The hit over onto Carl, turning their attention over onto Gabby. This is a split by Kojiri. He's taking so much damage. He is going to be the next one to fall. See so smell over on the back line. Hector, he's trying to fight through. There's going to be the toss up into there. Carl gets himself a double kill. And it's looking like they might have to Stinger. back off. Stinger, he came back, but oh, oh, oh the Whisper! Oh my Look God. at the arenas! Look at the circles! They're just obliterating over here. The damage coming out from Sea Smell, cutting through everyone. The playback over to Hector and Stinger. He's somehow still alive during all this cuckoo, taking so much damage. Whisper just blowing everything. Oh my god, that is a dead dragon knight. Look at this ancient area. I believe in the South Americans was like, Catalog Tio Pio here. Coming out from Beast, because Gabby, though, jumping back in. He wants Stinger. He's going to get pinned to his own tower, though. Hector, he's just cutting through Gabby. They're just going to town on T1. The GG gets called. Beast Ooh. Coast, the first team to take a game off of T1. And not the one we expected, but Beast Coast, what a game. Game number two between T1 and Beast Coast here. Knowing that Hector likes to farm is going to try to go for the full-on invasion and try to slow him down that way. So it'll be interesting to see if Beast Coast tries to adjust on the Stinger, though. He's in the amount of damage with the Ink Swell. He is indeed the first blood. I mean, the one nice thing is they make their play over onto Hector. They realize that he's left alone. Very nice efficiency coming out from T1. They are going to want to stack, so he's going to go block. Ooh, there's a courier over there. He's just going to walk right past it because he sees Whisper. Gabby burning away over on the Mars, and these lanes are going fab. Oh, and there's there it is. There's a little bit more of a present there. No one showing. All right, they're going back into this area. Now it kind of looks good. If they can tomb the cliff. Yeah, there we go. Oh, so no. the flame break. They've got the eclipse off, but this is so much damage being dumped out here. He is going to fall. Try to push the tower a little bit again. They did nerf the damage that these uh, spirits do to Stinger buildings. In trouble in the river. He is indeed. And so is White Mountain's not looking too healthy either. Turn back around. There it is, the blink forward coming out from Whisper. Good dash here with the shield, Cuckoo. Gonna try to keep him alive a little bit longer as we'll turn back around over onto Stinger. Disruption coming into play. So we're getting into position. The rest here. Here comes Sea Smile. Still has that little bit of exorcism alive there. And the spear will connect. So that is all going pretty solid. Stinger gonna get a D ward nicely done. Stinger Maybe. Gonna get the silence, the fans was embraced. Flame Blake back. Does have the lasso if needed. Good disruption coming up from Gojira. Buys a little bit more time. Another phantom though being tossed out over onto Stinger. He dropped the tombstone, but he is going to fall. They get a couple clicks off. Nice arena like though. It. Spearing Gabby over to the wall. Whisper gonna be able to find himself yet another kill. It's gonna be Gojira who collects on it. You see that uh Chris just going to try to clear up over here. Oh, yeah, look at this, Gabby. He's got the lasso up. He's got the ink swell. Go, Jiris here, oh, though. It's them. a great save. Buying him enough time as he'll turn back around. He's is forced to pop that BKB. They have the demonic purge, though, over onto Gabby. White Mon joining back in. The spear coming out from Whisper, pinning over to the ground. Dropping the arena. Followed up with the overgrowth, though, and they're going to be able to hold Whisper and Stinger together. They've got to move together as one. So they'll Too turn mistake. around. They're so okay still over on the side of Beast because they're chasing after Cuckoo. Do you have the spirit side? They'll end up losing Gojira, though. They had dropped the tomb, Carl, poking away here on the back lines. Doesn't feel like Ector wants to be a part of this just yet, as Whisper will fall, and it looks like they'll get themselves a double as they take down Sea Smile. Stinger just going to hide over here in the corner. He says, please don't look here. They're going to just try to throw a little bit of that Firefly down. It's not enough, I don't think, to have to finish walk. him off. And he's going to move. Oh, he walks right into more, though. That's a dead Stinger. <laughs> Yeah, the game was up at that point. Yeah. Have the BKB completed now for Hector. He's got the Eclipse in about 10 seconds. They think about going back in. All right, the jump in over onto Stinger. Hector, it's a follow up here. They've got the Exorcism. They'll end up losing Stinger. They didn't get tombed down. Didn't get it down in time as Hector's trying to just cut away onto Kuka, but they have nothing to cancel that to be out. But they do have a Yules to go and cancel out on White Mon. So they'll find themselves a kill and they'll immediately beeline down to this bottom tier one. Small mistake there. 
by the Undyne. He did have an Essence Ring that he forgot to press, so might have been able to get tuned down, but the fight's outcome's about the same anyways. Okay, all right, there's the last Perfect summoning grab. dragon. Over on to Gojira, plus the Sonic Wave. The BKB does come out, though. They've got the Eclipse. Gabby has already popped his own. Chris just chasing mm. after Carl here. Can they kill them down in the, the Silence coming into play? And they'll be able to go and just pin them together, though, Get using them. that Soul Bind. But Ector, he's not looking healthy now because he doesn't have that BKB, and they just have so much magic damage that they'll turn it back around uh, oh. and get the kill. There's a lot of blinks online for this team, so you could cancel one, but there's plenty more behind it. Let's go, Jira's just going to be babysitting a bit. Carl hoping he can get lucky. Get a little bit of the purge off, realizing that, you know, oh, but the lasso coming in over onto Gojira. They want to make sure that he can't save anything. And they're just getting shredded off the corner here. They're going for the Eclipse. Buyback coming out from Gojira. The rest side of T1, they're going to back off now. A Lincoln style. Yes, my brain is a little meat work. Looks like the Manta style and Lincoln's Cuckoo taking a decent amount of damage again. Does have to be careful though, because they have the blink forward. Ector running away here. They're gonna jump right over onto Stinger, but they do have the uh, the Glimmer Cape and an Essence Ring. Keep them alive. Gabby dragging back over onto Gojira. This is the one target that they need to remove from the fight to make this perhaps a little bit easier for them. So get a little bit more damage. They keep poking away over here using these Lucent Beams coming out from the Luna. There it is. There's a Silver Edge being shown by Cook and BKB though coming out from Whisper. Big Sonic Wave being thrown out as the ex Exorcism gets pushed over onto the side. The nice Arena though coming through. We'll be able to make sure they take down Wipe and that is going to be the Aegis, Zephyr to fall next. And now Kunku, he is just getting wailed upon. He's very, very tanky as Gabby is over here on the there side, putting a little bit more damage out. Does have the BKB. But fighting in that choke point on top of a fireball is very difficult for the side of Beast Coast. Will this spell too? That's going to be really good, actually. Gabby? Finding the opening over onto Gojira. Whisper waiting patiently, though. Have the Lotus Orb over onto Gojira. They are going to end up losing him, but the Scotty damage coming out here. They have the Dark Portrait being made against Ektor. They've got that, uh... They've got the Ink Swell over on the Illusion. It's just a quick hit and run, though. They're not looking to get too... Too good. All right, I say that as White Mine goes, he uses that overgrowth, and Ektor just cuts through him. Lincolns are doing a decent amount, but is it going to be enough? Whisper pinning over to Cuckoo over onto the line. Is he going to stay alive? Yes, he is. He'll end up falling. No Dragonite over here. As oh, Sea Smile, he's gone pretty deep. He does have uh, he does have that Aegis though. He's feeling confident. He's just going to start applying pressure to this tower with Ektor with the rest of the team. They did end up losing the Shadow Demon. The buyback's going to come out though. Who wants to be a part of it, and he does end up living. Carl is just taking so much damage. Soulbind coming into play. Cuckoo getting the double stun off here. Gabby trying. All right, that's going to be the first time it's going to fall. Coming back up again. They find the opening over onto Stinger. Hector, though, he's very tanky. They managed to take down Whisper. See, Smile having to be careful. Yeah, that's a lot of Glaive damage that's bouncing around here. This Luna's not looking too good right now, as it looks like the blink coming out from Sea Smile is going to be enough. They'll be able to what go and fight. take out almost everyone here on the side of Beast Coast. When they go on K1, that's the plan. Okay, there it is. It's a jump forward. Oh, uh, Gabby. Will they collapse? They could retake the high ground. I don't know. They're... Okay, they're going to BKB teleport out. All right, they're doing it. Okay, there it is. The swing coming oh, out. out. Blink. Oh, no. That is the exorcism. Maybe they can catch Zephyr? That's the hope. Yeah, that looks like they should be able to go and catch Zephyr, but he does have the Aeon Disc, so he'll survive a little bit longer and provide a little bit of a... Uh, Distraction. You got the dark portrait. It will pop. Still was exorcism. Oh, oh, Hector though in the mid lane gets a little bit spooked here by Carl. Pop Lincoln several times. Cuckoo jumping back in with the Lotus. It's a good disruption though by a bit more time. Whisper trying to make his way over as well. Has to wait though. Refresher orb coming out. White Mon getting chased down over here by Whisper is going to fall. They were chasing after Cuckoo a little bit, but they didn't quite manage to find it. So they do get this pick off. Beast Coast finally out of the base for the first time in a bit. They do spot out this giant black dragon. Oh my word. Sea Smile stuck on a cliffside here. Again, they'll be able to go throw out the disruption. Cuckoo taking a lot of damage here. They're going to try to put everything that they can to silence on top of it. Be able to get Cuckoo. They've lost Gojira. There is no Roche up, not for a bit now. Look at look at these look at these glaives. Oh my word! Another Lotus. A dra or Lincoln's drag back over onto Ector. Ector, he needs help. They're just holding him into place. It's looking very bad for him. He is going to fall. Singer now looks like he is going to be the next victim. It's Carl's on a monster kill streak, and now Chris, he's got a blink away. He's gonna go pop the BKB. He doesn't have the TP for another no. five seconds. This is not looking good for him. This is looking very scary indeed now for this Death Prophet. She's trying to climb. She's trying to get out of there, and she just cannot. Too much damage coming out from the side of T1.
do not have buyback over on Ector right now, so. That's how aggressive. No Jump forward over to Kojira again. Does have the Aeon. Does Stinger hiding over here on the side with that Glimmer. Oh, he gets blinked. Kojira's going to be okay. Stinger. Okay, the follow-up here coming out from Whisper. They get the Soul Bind out, though. Carl with the BKB going to ensure that he's going to be able to survive as they do end up losing Stinger. Stinger is going to buy back. Lasso drag back over onto Whisper. So dealing with that Tombstone. Going to get dragged back pretty far. He's got the Lotus on himself, but he's just taking a lot of damage here. Plus that no Hex. BKB. It's a triple kill now for Carl. Whisper going to buy back. Get himself in. Another refresher. The drag back over onto Whisper. That BKB is not going to matter. They have to get him out. All right. He does have the, the arena, but it doesn't matter. Gabby waiting patiently. Here has the BKB up. It has lasted about seven seconds. Carl's going to continue to just poke away. Chris trying his best to stay alive. Again, this, this fireball just all so over the ground tough. is so difficult for them to fight into. But it's low now. That it is low. They have to do this. They have to figure this out. Science getting placed over onto Cuckoo. They're going to slow him down just a little bit. Carl jumping forward. See Stinger. He's just going to be able to take him down. But there it is. There's the team. So the grab over onto Gojira, though. This is the guy that they need to try to keep alive. But it doesn't matter. Okay. At the end of the day, it's still going to be Chris who picks up the Aegis. They've used the BKBs. They've got to move together, though. They have the Soulbind down. They've got the Sheep over here. They've got the Lotus. And they're just going to be pulled apart over here. High ground and low ground. Whisper is going to fall. Just, he's also going to fall as well as Hector has to teleport away. And he can't do it. They managed to find the stun just in the nick of time. Oh, God. See, smile. He is dead a second time. They have buyback over on the Luna. They have buyback over on this Death Prophet. Like, it's going to be the end. It does seem like that. A dieback there. Yeah, there it is. The There's Mars. a GG call. And they yeah, called GG it. GG is called. So, one and one for Beast Coast.